Vote tallying at the Independent Electoral Commission here in Abidjan has taken longer than anticipated. We were expecting preliminary results last night, however due to glitches with the biometric voting system and subsequent delays, we've been told to expect those results in the hours to come. There has been some disagreement over voter turnout. The IEC put it at around 60%, whereas the opposition coalition, which staged a partial boycott of the vote, alleging irregularities, says that it's at around 53%, so quite a bit lower. Incumbent Alison Watcher is tipped to secure a second term off the back of impressive economic growth, he hopes, in the first round. I'm told that a runoff against his main opponent, Pascal Afien Gessin, who's running for the moderates within the opposition coalition, is unlikely. And another opposition candidate, uh, Quadio Conombertin, has said that according to results he's had access to, Watcher has gained enough votes to secure a majority. He's already offered him his congratulations, conceded defeat, and has withdrawn earlier allegations that the vote was marred by fraud. This poll has been deemed credible and transparent by election observers, something that will certainly work in the favour of the new government. But for now, we wait to find out more in the hours to come. Clementine Logan, CCTV, Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire.